briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In the 1981 landmark court case, Yentgen v. United States, the crux of the deliberation centered on an intriguing question. When do government regulations, which result in deprivation of property rights, translate into a Fifth Amendment taking? The plaintiff, Yentgen, argued that federal regulations, specifically those related to the development of a planned residential community near the environmentally sensitive area of the Everglades, caused an unremunerated taking. Yentgen had earnestly applied for permits to develop 80 acres of land under the protective umbrella of the Rivers and Harbors Act and the Federal Water Pollution Control Act. However, in a twist of events, the Army Corps of Engineers, the authority tasked with the oversight of these regulations, denied the permits in 1977. The Corps cited the adverse repercussions of the proposed developmental activities on the delicate mangrove wetlands as their key rationale for the permit denial. Responding to the stiff denial, Yenkin moved the courts, hanging his hopes on the Fifth Amendment. He felt dispossessed, and therein lay his aspirations for compensation, to the grand amount of six million dollars, for the lost opportunity to make economic gains from the property. The lower court eyed the situation introspectively, but eventually ruled against Yentgen's claims. The court reasoned that the specifics of the situation didn't substantiate a Fifth Amendment taking as per established legal benchmarks and precedents. Admittedly, the federal regulations, enforced by the Army Corps of Engineers, may have thwarted Yentgen's plans, but they didn't constitute a taking under the Constitution. The court's verdict hinged heavily on the broader picture rejecting the notion of dissecting the property into separate segments and examining the rights attached to each portion. Despite the denial of permits for some areas due to environmental concerns, the Corps had greenlit development on a substantial part of the property. In essence, the court decreed that no illegal taking had happened in this specific case. Accordingly, Jenkins' quest for compensation bore no fruit, providing a thought-provoking commentary on the balance between individual property rights and environmental regulations. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.